Hi, baby. Oh, was she in here? Yeah, she came in here. How did she get in here? I would guess it's because there's someone that works here that was sitting right outside with her cleaning cart waiting for me to get up and leave and so she could let in her little crack whore friend. Um, people that are doing severe animal abuse, people who make money off of the rape of children. It is amazing how many people will help these people. It is phenomenal. I mean, those black dudes I see driving around that are gang members and think that all women are bitches and whores. Yeah, them doing it, no big deal. You know what I mean? It's their life. That's how they see people. But to have average people who probably, like this woman who works here that has her own children most likely, and she's letting in people who make money off of the rape of children in order to rape a woman and to <laughs> sodomize her and torture her and gas and drug her animals to death um, and manipulate my limbs and torture my body like... Um, a terrorist in Syria <laughs> like that's just crazy that people are so they have just no moral or ethical code in life at all anymore like it's just nuts and the bad people the people who are gonna destroy the world that we live in are just loving the fact that people are so easy to get to do the wrong thing, to do the bad thing. I mean, just time and time again, just over and over again, they can just find so many people that are willing to help them. And it's crazy. It's fucking nuts. It's fucking crazy. So, and they broke into my bus because, again, oh, they have no, they have no um, feeling of any sort of, uh, oh, kitty. Kitty doesn't look good this morning. So, but yeah, I know. I know. But yeah, they've been using my money to pay for their rooms at these hotels. I would guess when I went to Panda Express last night, they came, there was a whole bunch of people that showed up. And I'm guessing that they were eating Panda on my dollar, which that's going to be a hard one. I don't eat there that often. Um, I don't really spend that much money there, so, um, but yeah, the, I, I can tell there was a reaction from the fact that I was talking on the phone about missing money yet again, and they think Bank of Hawaii is just going to be able to keep covering it up for them, um, because Bank of Hawaii has already been complicit, obviously, in fraud, because I've initiated fraud cases, and when I pressed and pressed and pressed, they actually shut down my account. Um, so I couldn't access my money through my credit card. Um, and that was their response to the fraud allegations, that instead of looking at the people who actually worked at the Manoa branch, and I could give them the exact people who were helping these people, um, and they're just the drop in the bucket of people at that bank that have helped. And, you know, I'm going to say this and be public about it. They want to sue me. That would be great. I would love to get this in a court of law. I would love to have Bank of Hawaii want to have this on record in a recorded court document that I have accused them of fraud and they've done absolutely nothing for years. Instead, they've let them continually fraudulently steal money from my account over and over again. Again, these are the people who make Hawaii the meth capital of the entire country. These are the people who rape women and children for money um, and these are the people who they're helping these are the people who all of these people are helping and this is all started let's be reminded by the racist Hawaiians who started this whole thing and hate everybody hate white people hate black people and there's a whole bunch of Hawaiians out there that if literally if all these people that were helping them were lined up on a street and they had the ability to shoot and kill them they would <laughs> after they help them. They don't care. <laughs> it's it's hilarious the way that they're so stupid and they keep helping people that literally hate them. Hate them. Hate them. Yeah. So, there you go. The stupidity of criminals just never ending. Never, never ceases to amaze me 
how the Hawaiians have been able to manipulate people into helping them to do stuff. And yeah, there's black people in Hawaii now that they work with, that they deal drugs with and all that stuff. But when I was coming up in Hawaii and I was living there and that was most of my life and I dated mostly black men, they hated black people. They made fun of my boyfriends. They always were calling them the P word, which is the N word in Hawaiian. They were just brutal, brutal and brutal to me too. And I was born and raised there. They didn't care. They felt like I was a trespasser on their land. The land that they stole from the people who lived there when they arrived. <laughs> and then when that stuff happens to them, then they get pissed off. Um, but yeah, that's um, the Hawaiians are super stoked right now. Uh, you know, the U.S. being in chaos and all that stuff. They are super stoked. But just for the record, the Native Hawaiians support drugging, raping, sodomizing, and torturing a human being, animals, that they've been doing this for years now, and they're using some crazy crack whore that they got off the streets of Hawaii to do it.